I'm gonna try something today for the first time, and I'm a little nervous about it. Hello everybody, Rick here, back at Universal's Islands of Adventure, ready to give you some park updates, show you what's new in each island. However, it is supposed to rain while I'm here. Let's see if I can make it around the whole park without getting wet. And as I teased at the very beginning of this video, I am gonna try something here for the very first time today. And I did not lie, I am nervous about it, so stay tuned for that. As soon as we enter Islands of Adventure, to our right is the Photos Expedition Photography. This is where if you like purchase on-ride photos or any type of pictures using the Universal Photo Pass, this is where you can come get those, get the prints, get different frames, things like that. Also, in here is where they sell like classic merchandise like Jaws and Back to the Future and E.T., things like that. What they do not sell here in this Photoshop is anything for your own personal camera. So if you forgot your SD card, you're out of luck. They do not sell those in the theme parks. And no, that did not happen to me. But the other day when I was here with Peter the Potter Collector, and I'm sure he's okay with me sharing this story, he did have to get an SD card and we found out that day they did not sell them here on property. Our collaboration videos are coming out this week, so make sure you have the bell notification button clicked on both the channels. Let's check on Express Pass pricing today for a two-park unlimited $181. And as I was showing you guys that sign, a lady came up who had just visited Disney, and she was talking about how she did not like the Disney Genie Plus system, that Universal's method for Express Passes, even though more expensive, she liked a lot better. I talked to that lady just for a second uh, to get some more details on her feelings about Disney Genie Plus and what she was saying was she did not like to have to book a lightning lane and she didn't like having a return time. She liked Universal's freedom of just you feel like going on the ride go get in the express line so that was her take on things. While in Marvel Superhero Island I kind of like my chances to beat the rain. Look at the Hulk and then look at the blue skies behind the Hulk. Freaking weatherman, don't know what they're talking about. In these update videos, I still like to show you one or two items. Today we're gonna stop inside of the comic shop and uh, we'll see if I can find anything interesting in here. Well, I didn't find anything amazing or anything incredible, but there's one thing I'm gonna show you. For $80, and this is not a lounge fly, but a Marvel handbag or purse. Deadpool, pow, blam. I think it's pretty cool. I just can't get that merch search out of my system. Well, we made it through one island without getting wet. Can we make it through Toon Lagoon without getting wet? Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for I give you the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water. It's not just that Disney. In my opinion, Universal was a little off with their timing of refurbing their water rides as some spring breaks have started around the country. And with that, we have a closed Popeyes and Bluto's barges. Some spring breakers will not be able to experience this. In my opinion, they should be done with their water ride refurbs by February 28th. But that is just my opinion. I would prefer all the water rides be ready by March 1st and all of spring break. Oh my goodness, I almost walked by the biggest update at Toon Lagoon. Marmaduke is back and looking better than ever, I might add. Sometimes they have water coming out of these cans, sometimes they don't. Today they do not. The chances of getting wet by rain today, 70%. The chances of getting wet on Ripsaw Falls, 100%. You will have to wait 45 minutes, however, as that is the standby wait time for Ripsaw Falls right now. Well, we made it through Toon Lagoon without getting wet, which can be considered an accomplishment. And we've made it all the way to Jurassic Park. I think the skies are getting bluer. But this is Florida. A thunderstorm could spring up at any moment, but I would bet the only way I'm getting wet today is if I was standing over there in the splash zone. 
Not a ton of updates today, but I do have one or two up here by Pizza Predatoria. The two little dinosaurs up here, George and Lucas. The one on the left is George, the one on the right is Lucas. They are back, and they are back fighting over that slice of pizza. We can all sleep a little easier now. Take a look at that DNA sequencing game. It looks like they're all ready for St. Patrick's Day. Yes, sir, I did that. Right, I get it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Let's step inside of the dino store. Something I've been wanting to show you. Something really cute. These Jurassic World Snap Squad toys. What they do is they snap on or clip onto something. I see a lot of the team members here kind of clip them onto their uniform or the collar of their shirt, things like that. These are so cute and they are $18. Hold on. I've got to tell you something about this. What did I say the price was? $18 here? They're only $8 on Amazon. I am not a smoker, so I do not know when this happened, but this area here used to be the smoking area. See behind this little barricade? That used to be the smoking area, but it is no longer. A 40 minute wait for a Velocicoaster, not bad at all, considering it is one of the best rides in the world. And also at the moment, the single rider line is open. Into Hogsmeade, Scotland, surely it's gonna rain on me in here. Who am I kidding? Look at that sky. It's not going to rain on me today. This is why I no longer listen to the weatherman in planning my day. I just do what I'm going to do regardless of what they say. I'm over here behind the three broomsticks near Hogshead and I ran into a viewer and she gave me some gifts. I have to show you. This is from Carla in New Mexico. Look what Carla has created for us. A rock painted with Walter White, a little uh, canvas of New Mexico. This is a mashup of Hufflepuff and Breaking Bad. Check out that little canvas. And in this bag here, from the candy lady, candy blue meth. That's the candy. It's the candy, guys. It's an homage to Breaking Bad. Thank you so much, Carla. Carla tells me she's been looking for me for two years, carrying around that stuff for two years. I'm so happy she finally found me. I love the Hufflepuff and Breaking Bad mashup canvas painting as I am a Hufflepuff and I do love that TV show, Breaking Bad. One of the best TV shows ever. Remember that thing I teased you about at the very, very beginning of the video, trying something for the first time? Well, it's finally going to happen. Today is the day I try the falafels. The Fire Eaters Grill here in the Lost Continent. This is where we're going to find our falafels if you watch the channel you get the inside joke but here the falafels let's try them and here it is for eleven dollars falafel style you can also get it traditional style but you know in this channel we had to do the falafel style and by the looks of it I already regret my decision here is a look at the inside of the falafel Okay, time for Rick's quick food review of the falafel. And I ate this a couple different ways. Since it was my first ever time having a falafel, I ate the falafel on its own first, a couple of them. My first bite, I was not impressed. But I had more and more, and after two, I could see like, I could develop a taste for falafels. And I can see why some people like falafels. And then I had it as it was intended, and that pita bread they used for the hero was fantastic. So if you eat it as it's meant to be eaten, I think it's pretty good. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna order the falafel again, but I can see why some people like it. Maybe next time, since Nikki has, my wife Nikki has like a wider palate than I do, we'll have her try the falafel, and I'll try the traditional. Let's try that next time. Still nothing to report with Poseidon's Fury. The walls are still up and we have no idea when it's going to reopen. Look over this way behind Mythos, over towards the Jurassic Park Discovery Center. You see the dark clouds? They are a building. Maybe the weatherman was right. Though I don't think I'm going to get rained on. We only have one more land to go to, Seuss Landing, and I bet you I can get out of the park before the rain starts. Welcome to Seuss Landing. What you got in there, honk honkers? Why yes, they do have honk honkers, but still closed. See the blue curtain? Well, we've had a good run the past few weeks visiting the Hop on Pop ice cream shop. 
to test out their Sundays on a stick. But we're all done with Sundays on a stick. You know what then? Let's move on to the brownie Sunday. And here it is, $6.49. Doesn't look exactly like the picture. Uh, the bowl's not a waffle bowl, but we do have a waffle cone. They were out of brownies. And when I asked, what's the discount without the brownie? I didn't get an answer, they just stared back at me. So I said, that's okay, I'll take it how it comes. I would imagine not having the brownie would have been like at least a 75 cent savings. The ice cream with the caramel and the hot fudge, very, very good. It's a hard packed ice cream, but it's not super hard. It's like a soft hard pack and it is really, really good. Of all the things I've had there at the Hop on Pop ice cream shop, that's my favorite. I wonder how it would have been with the brownie. But to be honest, I didn't miss the brownie. I didn't miss it. But I wonder. I wonder. But overall, my favorite. That was so good. The Carousel Cell, still under major renovation, major repair. It will not be ready for the spring break crowd. I just hope it's ready for the summer crowds. One last shot of the building rainstorm clouds as Velocicoaster goes over the top hat. As for me, I'll make it out of here without getting rained on. Because that's all the updates I have for you here at Islands of Adventure. If you want to know what's happening at Universal Studios, click above my left shoulder here. Check out that video. And as always, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rich Looks, and now, click that subscribe button.